Hey everyone, so I wanted to do an experiment this week and this was because I came across a video, I'd say it was about three weeks ago, on um, how to make a lipstick out of crayons and I must have had my head buried in the sand for the last god knows how long because all of a sudden I started seeing the same kind of thing on Pinterest everywhere and Tumblr and even Instagram and apparently there's like tons of other videos on how to make um, lipstick crayons, crayon lipsticks. But I actually only recently found it. First of all, my first thought was like, that's kind of cool and it looks like it'd be fun to try out. Then my second thought would be like, hmm, I'm not sure how safe it is because they are crayons. <laughs> and even though people are like saying to use the, like the Crayola ones, which are non-toxic, um, still not kind of a good thing to say that it's totally safe to wear on the skin, but I'll get into that in a while. So I kind of wanted to delve a little bit deeper into how safe it is for the skin and stuff like that and I did want to try it out for myself. So I'll show you first how I made them because I made first of all a palette which looks so much fun and if you're wondering why I would make a palette of lipsticks with these kind of colours you probably haven't seen enough of my videos because I do tend to like to do the odd theatrical makeup and for Halloween I definitely would wear a lot of brights but these are kind of fun to do particularly these kind of colours would be fun to have particularly if you do like to play around with makeup and it's very hard to get sometimes lipsticks that are crazy colours like these so it would be a good thing for that. Um, so I have that and then these little containers here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I made the lipsticks first of all. So you're going to need a pack of nine toxic crayons, oil, I used castor oil, you're going to need containers for the lipsticks and containers for melting the lipsticks. I liked the tinfoil ones because I can bend them. You're going to need a spatula for mixing the mixture. If you want to be fancy, you can use vanilla extract for flavour and tweezers and of course the pan for melting. So the first step is to remove the paper from the crayons. This is really hard to do just by peeling. So I used a small knife to remove it. This is the easiest way, but you have to be really careful because I did nick myself a couple of times, but it comes off nice and clean when you do it this way. Next, get your pan with a little bit of water and pop it over medium heat so the water starts to warm up and put in the containers. And then you can start breaking up your crayons and popping them in and you'll see they'll start to melt fairly quickly and then once these are nearly fully melted you can start putting in your oil. I like to use castor oil because this is what's in a lot of lipstick and I use about two teaspoons of this. Um, you can use coconut oil or olive oil or whatever you have. Um, I think they all kind of work. But, and then once you have this in you just need to start to mix the mixture together. It has to be fairly warm to actually mix it together really well and then you keep mixing until it's really liquid and once it is totally mixed together you can take it off the heat and leave it aside to um, cool and to set. Then if you want to mix some colours what I did was I got half of a white crayon. I wanted to make a really light blue so then I halved a blue crayon and then um, half this again so I used a quarter of a stick and mixed this in with the white so that it wouldn't be too dark and this gives a really gorgeous light pastel blue and then you do the same again just add your oil and that and then if you want to be fancy and make it a little bit more palatable <laughs> for wearing on the lips put in a couple of drops of vanilla extract and um, just mix this really well together and do the same thing just pop it to the side. Then after a few minutes, uh, once they've set, check the consistency and make sure that it's soft enough to go onto the lips. Mm. If not, you might need to melt it again and apply some more oil. But if it is um, the right consistency and you're happy with it, then do by all means melt it again. And then once this is melted, it's time to pour it into your container. These wee tinfoil things were really handy because you could bend it so that it poured in really neatly into your container. So um, I do recommend them and you don't have to clean them after use, you can just dump them. Okay, and that's it. So like I said, this is what we came up with. And I'm just gonna kind of go into how they feel first of all. So it does feel weird on the lips. The reasons I did use the vanilla essence is because it feels like you're wearing crayons on your lips. That's the only thing. It just has that artificial taste about it the whole time, which I'm not a big fan of. And, um, you know, oil's like the most pleasant tasting thing either. So that's why if you want to get really fancy, you could put in an essence. 
Um, it feels very moisturising on the lips because of the oil, but it's very slippy. It's not going to stay like a normal lipstick because, of course, it doesn't have like the same, like, obviously lipsticks go through a very, very rigorous pro process so that they, you know, they're stable, they, um, you know, they have a lot of, of emulsifiers so that they don't separate and stuff like that and so that they're a little bit more stable on the lips and of course when you're mixing crayons with a bit of, a bit of, um, oil in your own kitchen that's not going to really do the same thing so it does kind of move and kind of migrate a little bit on the lips but if you just want to play around with different colours and stuff like that that's no bother and it is a bit of crack as well um, you can get some grey colours with them a lot of them tend to go on a bit patchy again it's just down to not having the proper you know ingredients to keep it nice and smooth and stuff like that but sure that'll happen and some are more patchy than others some worked out better than others now, in regards to the safety, and this is the main thing that I was a bit concerned about, is um, I've seen loads of people saying, oh, they're totally safe because the crayons are non-toxic and kids can eat them and they're fine. Um, now, I'm not an expert, so I could never, I could, well, first of all, I'd never say they're totally safe because I don't know that. I'm not a scientist and I'm not an expert. And I can't say that they're totally not safe because, again, I'm not an expert. I'm not, like, <laughs> I'm not a scientist or, you know, um, whatever. But luckily, my older brother is a scientist, so I wanted to pick his brain about it a little bit. And even though, like these guys here, you know, if a kid ate half of one, he wouldn't die. It's non-toxic as long as he didn't have some kind of weird reaction. Um, it'll just pass through him. But that's not to say that it wouldn't be a toxic thing to wear on your face or on your lips or whatever for a long period of time. So of course, um, you have to be aware of the fact that a lot of these things could contain heavy metals, which would be like lead, aluminium, um, arsenic, anything like that. Um, and even like iron, which I know we have in our bodies ourselves, but I mean, even if, like, even though iron is natural in our body, if it builds up, it can be very, very dangerous. So imagine if you're getting any of these other heavy metals that don't occur naturally in the body and they were to build up over time, they can be extremely toxic. Now, I'm not saying that it 100% contains these, but, um, chances are it can contain a lot of them. Like for instance, my brother was saying in his lab, they test cosmetics and every other thing, you know, um, to see the safety of them and stuff like that. And they come across a lot of lipsticks and cosmetics that contain extremely high levels of dangerous heavy metals like lead that should be in cosmetics, you know, um, way above the approved levels. And the way these work is if you were to eat a bit of it today, it won't kill you, but if you do keep using them over time, it can build up in your system and cause you to get very, very sick. Um, you know, it could cause toxic toxicity all over the body in different areas. So you have to be careful and there could be carcinogens in these as well. So I was reading a few different these and even though some of them said non-toxic, a lot of them still say not to use on the skin. So you have to, you know, use your brain when it comes to these. And um, a couple of other people were saying, oh, you know, they're just made up of pigments and beeswax or whatever wax, paraffin wax or whatever is in them um, and that's the same thing that are in lipsticks but you're forgetting that the stuff that is used in lipsticks and cosmetics are processed in a way that they're cosmetic grade so like say pigments that are used to make paints um, can be extremely toxic to people they're not the same pigments that are used in you know in cosmetics so you have to be um, careful about that now I don't think this will kill you if you were to do this and it's a bit of fun you can it's nice to try them out maybe put them on your lips to see what different colors look like or for me what I might use them for is over Halloween if I need a green color and I don't have a color like that for a witch makeup or something like that I could use it but it's certainly not something I'd use all the time and um, it's fun to make though so if you feel like a bit of make and do or DIY or whatever definitely give these a go because I just love any of that kind of crafty stuff but I definitely wouldn't re recommend using these as a replacement for your normal lipsticks and I would highly recommend anyone who's pregnant um, or with any other kind of health issues stay away from them just because those heavy metals if they did contain them could be extremely dangerous um, in your condition um, but like I don't want to totally rain on your parade but at the same time I think it's a little bit um, dangerous for people to go on and say that these are 100% safe when they're not, when there's a big chance that they're not. Um, I'm not saying, like I said, they're grand, I'd say to use once or twice. So like I said, you can swallow these and they won't kill you, but just be careful about the build up of stuff that you wear over time. Um, I just wanted to kind of get that out there, but I do think it's a fun thing to do. I think they're great wee colors and I'll show you all the different colors that I made as well. 
um, from them. Like I love this blue one. I think this one looks absolutely fab on the lips. And it's the kind of thing where you can kind of create your own lipstick and then make it your mission to find that color lipstick somewhere else, like somewhere in the world. Um, and you know, I hope to find that kind of blue color lipstick somewhere because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I would say though, if you are making them, maybe put them in this kind of pot rather than this kind of palette. Just because, um, another thing my brother was saying is like in real lipsticks, they use emulsifiers to make sure that stuff, you know, the, the uh, formula is stable and it doesn't separate, but chances are, um, or he said it's pretty much 100% that this will separate over time. So the oil and the waxes, um, and that will probably separate after a while. So if you keep them in this kind of container, then at least it'll be easy to scoop it out and then you could remelt it if you wanted to, re you know, use it again. Um, and then, you know, get another wee while out of them. So that's that. I hope this was helpful and that I might have answered a few questions of anyone who was maybe thinking about the same kind of things I was thinking about. But um, give it a go anyhow. It's fun to just try them out and have a bit of fun with it and you know you could even use it as paints <laughs> use it on paper or whatever but that's it so thanks for watching guys and i'll chat to you all really soon Slan.